Hello, Calvin Jones here with Park Tool Company. In this video, we're going to remove and install the one-piece crank. The one-piece crank is formed by a single piece of steel that's bent to form both arms and the spindle between them. Typical tools needed for this procedure are a pedal wrench to remove the left pedal, a 30 millimeter spanner for the left lock nut or substitute a large adjustable wrench, an HCW18 from Park Tool for the left side cone, a seal pick or small screwdriver to remove the bearing cage, a degreaser for cleaning all the parts, bearing grease, and lots of rags. The procedure begins by removing the left pedal. The right pedal can stay on at your option. On the left side, there will be a lock nut, a washer, and the bearing cone, all left-hand threads. Turn the lock nut clockwise to loosen. Remove the lock nut fully, and remove the keyed washer fully. The key and the washer will be important during adjustment. The cone, of course, is also a left-hand thread, so it removes clockwise. Loosen the cone and pull it completely off the crank. Inside will be a caged bearing that must be pulled out to get the arm out of the way. Use a seal pick or a small screwdriver to lift out the cage and off the crank. The arm can now be rotated and guided out of the shell. Make sure the cage bearings also came out of the drive side cup. Clean and degrease all parts. The bearing cages and the cones are likely to be very gritty and dirty. Use a degreaser and a brush, scrub them fully, dry them with the rag, and even an air compressor can help get out the dirt between. Pack grease in the ball bearing cage and also inside the cup in the frame. Install one ball bearing cage on the cone of the drive side. Engage the arm through the bottom bracket shell and now engage the bearing on the left side and into the cup. Pay attention to the orientation of the cage. Here we can see that the ball bearings will be touching the cone as the cone is threaded onto the crank. Install the cone onto the crank. It's a left-handed thread, so we engage by turning counterclockwise. Thread the cone all the way counterclockwise until you just feel it touch the ball bearings. Engage the keyed washer onto the crank. The purpose of the keyway is to prevent rotation of the cone as we tighten the lock nut. The lock nut is installed and again and turn to the left counterclockwise. For the adjustment, we actually want to loosen slightly from touching the ball bearings. We're gonna come back about an eighth of a turn, hold the crank arm, tighten the lock nut fully, and then check for play. Grab both arms and pull side to side, rotate to different positions. If you feel knocking, Again, loosen the lock nut, turn the cone slightly to the left, stop, and then again, secure the lock nut and check once again for play. Uh, the system is not a high precision bearing system. 
There is going to be some resistance as it rotates in a normally corrected bearing adjustment. Reinstall the left pedal. Secure fully and the job is finished. And that was the basic procedure for crank removal and installation for the one-piece crank. Thanks for joining us.